Hey guys, it's uh, day 95. Uh, like I said, we're doing the night before Christmas today, even though it is obviously late August. Uh, we're doing it just because um, it was fun. Uh, first we'll have a regular read and then uh, I didn't want to do the whole thing twice, uh, so I just did a couple little segments um, chopped up in different voices. Hopefully it doesn't ruin the whole mood of the uh, prior reading, but this isn't really for presentation as much as posterity. So, I hope you all enjoy the night before Christmas. Happy holidays. Or Christmas. Holidays. Yes. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were all nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama, in her kerchief and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder, and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. And then in twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my hand and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was all dressed in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ash and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know that I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. T'was the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even... John Cena! He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me no, I had nothing to dread. Oh, and then in the twinkling, I was on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my hand and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a pound. He's more than a word, 
but went straight to work. And filling all the stockings, he then turned with the jerk, and laying his finger aside his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.